All right, what up? Back at it again with the one and only Logan Teal. Hi, everyone. So if y'all don't know him, he is a gymnast. Or I'll just let you introduce yourself. All right, yeah. so for those who don't know, I'm a gymnast. I've been doing gymnastics for almost 18 years now. And I mean, that's pretty much it, honestly. I'm really just a gymnast. I yeah, mean, just like <laughs> very talented, very swole, you already know. And um, basically, uh, we did another video like a while ago where I basically showed him arm wrestling. He showed me some calisthenics, you know, and it's basically, we tried to get the best of both worlds. Like, you know, I was showing him some stuff. He was showing me some stuff. He would easily do the pull-ups and then I would show him like, you know, techniques and arm wrestling, you know, stuff like that. But today um, we're back at it again. And Logan actually had an idea for this video. So I'll let him, you know, yeah. introduce the idea. So this video is going to be kind of dedicated on explaining what the process is, what the grinding process is. Cause few days ago I was at practice and one of like the younger guys came up to me and just kind of asking how to do a certain skill that he was training and I was like giving him the tips and pointers on how to do it and he was getting a little frustrated and I was like hey let's trust the process and he was like what does that mean and I was kind of like oh okay it, it kind of like hit me I was like I never really gotten asked that question so I like thought about it and I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of explain right. what it is for people that are like what does it mean to trust the process all right well do you want to give your thoughts on it first? Sure, I'll, I'll also like kind of chime in. Yeah, so trusting process is very complex. It's going to be different for everybody. Like whatever right. goals that you have, your process is going to be different for me. Exactly. And that's really like the best way I can put it. It's just whatever goal that you have, the bigger it is, the longer it's probably going to take. But True. you just got to trust the process. Whatever hardships comes and failures comes, you have to take that in learn from it and keep moving forward mm -hmm. and like you it's sad to know this but you have to lose to know how to win exactly you cannot succeed without yeah. failing first like yeah. there was so many videos i posted in the beginning and surprisingly with this channel like the video the uh, views just randomly just kept going up mm -hmm. as i posted more arm wrestling but at the beginning i only had you know like zero subscribers yeah. so when you start with zero you start with nothing all you can do is move mm -hmm. forward and then when you get that little taste like i got 100 subscribers after a couple videos when you get that little taste then you start like getting expectations and then yeah. when you get expectations mm -hmm. that's when you get in your head and stuff yeah. but once you realize in the end like truly you really never had anything to lose because mm -hmm. if you just keep moving forward like it's almost like it's like there's a wall there but only if you put it there yeah so if you don't put it there and you just keep going, you can literally do anything. Yeah, seriously. Everything is about mindset. People are so negative nowadays that they want to just say, oh, you can't do it. You're not good enough. You're not going to make it just to put you down because they haven't succeeded in something that they have. So they don't want to see you do better than they have. Exactly. And that's the way I look at it. And so it's like the difference between people who are successful and those who fail is that one that negativity and those hardships come they, the unsuccessful people, they believe it. They're like, oh yeah, you're, you're right. I'm not good enough to achieve this. So why try? Where the other people, it's like, you think I'm not good enough? I'm just going to prove you wrong at this exactly. point. Exactly. There's nothing, literally, if you just put your mind to it, you can literally accomplish literally anything. Literally. That's the crazy and, part. Literally yeah, anything. And like, life sucks sometimes. It really does. Oh, yeah. And like, I, I'm definitely. a pretty optimistic guy, but I am human. So there are days I'm kind of like, man. This day kind of sucks a little bit, but I try to find the good parts of it. Exactly. So like whenever, like, let's say there's a door. Right. Your goal is right past that door. All you have to do is just walk through. You get so close, you're in the frame. The door just shuts on your face and like, shh. Now I have to go back to the drawing board. So that's the, that's where you learn. You're like, okay, what did I do that, that extra step that I have to take right. to make sure that that door doesn't close on me? Or just kind of figure out, like, all right, what in my life has changed for that door to close on me? Go back to the drawing board, go back and try to open. If it doesn't work, guess what? Go back again and then go back to that door and just take the fucking hinges off. Literally. Walk through it. If there's a freaking wall between you and your goal, you either find a way over it, around it. And if you can't, you freaking just truck through it. Literally. Seriously. And like... My mind is spinning so fast. Yeah, because it's just it's like, like the passionateness. Like, like you really believe yeah. it. Like you live in what you're mm -hmm. saying, right? Yeah, and it's like people 
I'm like, man, I'm tired or it hurts. And it's like, I had this realization a few days ago that I kind of like tweaked my shoulder a little bit. Right. Like, I'm not a PT. So I'll give myself a applause for that because I'm not a PT, but I'm not like 100% yet. You know, it's just not how that works. Because right. I don't need to go to physical therapy anymore. So like, I am able to start training now and I'm kind of testing out what I can do. And, you know, I just, try, I tried a little something to see if I can do it and it kind of tweaked a little bit. It doesn't, it, it feels better today, which is right. good. So I'm just kind of like taking it easy, but I'm like sitting there, I practice, I'm like, man, like this sucks. I, I just want to like get back to my sport. It's been too long. This is my second surgery in two years. Like this just really sucks. And I was sitting there, I was like, bro, like, why are you thinking about that? Like, stop thinking like that. Like pain is temporary. Exactly. It, it, it may last a minute, an hour or a day or even a year. But pretty soon that pain will subside and something else will take its place. Something new and improved will take its place. But the difference is if I quit, that pain is going to last with me for the rest of my life. Exactly. And that pain will turn into regret. And yeah. the only thing you'll ever be able to dwell on is that regret. Mm -hmm. And something I always say is do things with no insistence on the outcome. So what that means is basically do something just for the sake of doing it because it brings you joy. You know, like don't care what people got to say about it. Don't yeah. care mm -hmm. what happens from it. Like, let's say um, I'm just thinking to myself, oh, I want to go to the park, right? I don't have anybody to go with. I just go there just because I want to do it exactly. because it brings me joy. Yeah. And I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, hopefully I see, I don't know, like this person or mm -hmm. hopefully people are there. I'm just not going to insist on any kind of outcome. I'm just going to do it exactly. because in life, basically... That's how you attract better things to you. If you're focusing on bad all the time, mm -hmm. you're only going to see bad. If you yep. focus on good, you will only see good. And, like, your brain will basically try to prove it. So if you always, like, surround yourself with negative people, like, I see so many people, especially our age, they just yeah. sit there, you know, kind of do drugs and all yeah. this other stuff, and they just dwell. And they wonder, why am I so sad? Why does my life suck so bad? Mm -hmm. Because you, if you just surround yourself with yeah. shit, yep. it's all going to be shit. And if yeah. you, you know, surround yourself with positive things mm -hmm. and you keep moving forward. And that's the thing about positivity is... It's not even about being happy all the time. No. It's about on the days that you said, you accept that. Yeah. And you're just like, okay, you know, I'm sad, but I accept that. The thing is like with like, you know, getting a panic attack or anxiety or anything like that, it's the resistance of being sad. Mm -hmm. It's the resistance of worrying, you know? Yeah. And myself, I worry sometimes. I'm yeah. human, you know, yeah. like he was saying, you know, there are bad days. Mm -hmm. But the difference between, like you were saying, of the successful person and the failure is the successful person, when they're worried, they're going to be like, okay, I'm worried. I accept that. I'm going to keep moving forward while I'm worried. Yeah. It's like no insistence on the outcome. Let's say like a popular one, like going up to a girl, right? You get all nervous, you know, <laughs> yeah, ask for yeah. a Snapchat, right? There's either going to be the guy that'll never try, or mm -hmm. there will be the guy that'll do it even while he's flustered, even while he might have a red face, even yeah. if he stutters. He's already steps ahead yep. of that person that didn't mm -hmm. even try. You got to shoot a hundred baskets before you can make one in. Yep. And that sure. one you make in, it's going to make the 99 you didn't make in literally worth it. Yeah. And that goes for anything, not even just like girls or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, just anything in life, whatever goal that you have, just keep working at it and learn from your mistakes, learn from the failures, accept that you're gonna have bad days, but just keep moving forward. And that's what the process is. It's not gonna be smooth sailing all the time. There's gonna be crap that's gonna pop up, but instead of just bowing down to it and letting life beat you to your knees and keeping you there, just get up and fight back and just keep exactly. keep moving forward. That's what the grind is all about. That's what trusting the process is. It's like, okay, these hard times are coming. I have to remind myself that there is going to come a point where it's all going to be worth it and things are going to turn out good. Exactly. And like Les Brown, one of my favorite motivational speakers, everyone should check him out. He has a quote that says, when life knocks you down, try to land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. Wow. And, and quote. And like that really hits me. I was like, you know what? You're fucking right. Right? Because like I was sitting there practicing. I'm sitting here. I'm like, man, like pain is temporary, but like still it sucks. And I'm sitting there, you know what? I, I literally, like, I laid down at this point, just thinking about the quiet. I laid down on the mat. I was looking up. I was like, all right, I'm kind of on a dump right now. But I'm looking up, so I want to get up and go again. And that's what you got to have to do. Yeah, like, I'll actually tell you another quote that I like. So you ever, like, heard of David Goggins? Yeah. Yeah, David Goggins is my favorite, like, kind of motivational speaker guy. And he said, you want to get to the point in life where everything is on a billboard, everything that you're embarrassed about, insecure about, everything that you've ever done wrong, it's on a billboard and everybody can drive right by and see it and mm -hmm. your name's on there and everything. Yep. And mm -hmm. the reason for this is because if 
you're just out there, right? If you own everything, nobody else can own it for you. Nobody else can tell you. Like, let's say, you know, this can sound kind of weird. Let's say somebody had three nipples, right? Yeah. And they were really insecure about that. They're like, oh, I got three nipples. And then one day, you know, somebody's like, oh, you got three nipples. Everyone starts laughing and everything. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, so what if I do? Yeah. He just owns it. And then nobody from that point on can ever own it exactly. for him. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, if I saw that, I think in my mind, I'd be like, oh, it's kind of weird. But, like, I would appreciate him, like, him or her, like, showing it off. Maybe I shouldn't say her, but... Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all you, you know what he meant. He was just yeah, trying to say, just, like, being confident yeah. about it and, like, <laughs> like, respecting yourself and, like, understanding, like, accepting it, basically. Yeah, like, I know, like, back in, like, middle school, people go, oh, yeah, like, I want to date your mom or whatever. And it's it, it's funny to, like, think back on it. And it's, like, when people said that to me, I'm, I'm just kind of like, okay. And they're like, oh, I'm not going like, to... That was no fun. You didn't have a reaction. It's, like, when people try to, like pick on you or whatever just kind of be like it doesn't fuck. just don't show like any not like emotion like don't be emotionless but like just yeah, don't, don't, don't be give a sociopath don't, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, don't give them the satisfaction of getting a rise out of you really is what i'm trying exactly. to say exactly and like i mean i've accomplished things in like gymnastics and just like in life in general right. that people didn't really think i was going to be able to do and that's why like, i have a tattoo on my forearm that says from nothing nothing becomes and what that means is that if you have a goal and before you start on it, you, you're gonna have nothing. But as soon as you put in that work and you trust the process and you grind, that nothing will become something. No matter what happens or whoever believes you or don't, I've had family members who tell me, y'all, you're not gonna be able to do it. And that kind of hits a little bit hard because like they're family. Course, you know, I still right. love them to death, don't get me wrong, right. but I was kind of saying like, wow, like you're out of everyone, you're supposed to be the one supporting me. And I, I was kind of thinking, I was like, you know what? I don't care. You're not going to stop me. Tell me I can't do something. I'm just going to go out and prove you wrong. Exactly. And that's what the mentality everyone should have nowadays. Like, life is not easy. It's not. It's not. It's it not, really is. But you just got to keep trucking forward. You can just, I'm just play the game. And like I said, trust the process. And another thing of trusting the process is like, like I was trying to say earlier, like it's so important to understand the only wall is the one you put there. Like, sure, mm -hmm. it's not easy. Like we were just saying, it's not easy at all. But what you can do is you can make it easy by like i was saying no insistence on the outcome so doing if you like constantly bringing yourself joy right and you're constantly surrounding yourself with all this positivity and never giving up right like let's say even just me hanging out with him right now it could inspire me to go and hit a harder workout or you yeah. know go do something even greater like move to the next level right a lot of people i feel like get to a point where they're just comfortable they're yes. comfortable yep. just sitting there. They feel like they have nothing to prove. Mm -hmm. They feel like, you know, they can't get any better from where they are. Yep. And so it causes them to just do nothing. Mm -hmm. Like they just sit on the couch all day. And I'm not telling everyone, go be like me or Logan yeah, or no. David Goggins <laughs> yeah. or somebody, right? Because that's not for everyone. And, you know, yeah. I've seen people in my comments, like the other day I posted a video and someone was like, because the video was like, have you been staying jacked? And I basically talked about, have you been keeping up with the mentality, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody commented, they're like, oh, I'll work out next summer. For now, I'm going to sit on the couch. And I was like, you know what? Merry Christmas to Merry you, bro. Christmas. Like, like I'm not telling everyone to be like, live like us, yeah. but try. You know, yeah. like I said, shoot 100 baskets. One of them might make it, or none of them might make it. But keep shooting more, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, the more baskets you shoot... Every time that's another opportunity, right? And if you just like think about it, like life is basically just keep shooting more baskets. Like let's say, you know, me waking up in the morning, I just shot a basket. Me, you know, brushing my teeth, I just shot another one. Me, you know, working out, I just keep shooting, shooting, mm -hmm. shooting. That's what your whole life should be. Just keep shooting more baskets yep. because that's more opportunities. And the ones that you let pass you will just turn into regret. Yep. And the more regret you have, you know, the less you'll want to do anything and the more all this other bad stuff you know comes about like depression and everything mm -hmm. and you just gotta understand that if you just kept moving forward and you like you were saying trusted the process and understood like hey you know it will get there as long as i believe in myself as long as i believe i can do it and i don't care what anybody says i'm gonna do it with no insistence on the outcome mm -hmm. then you will do it and you'll realize that wall never actually existed in the first place yep that's true and i feel like humans are so powered by like achieving goals like it's just kind of like in that that natural like oh i have to achieve this but i guess like, i can understand when people like especially athletes they after they're done with their athletic careers like what do i do now and it's like at that point i feel like just set little goals throughout your day it's like make it a goal to like all right i'm gonna wake up in the morning and make my bed done i achieved that make you feel good about something just exactly keep, and keep that day, little day, in, day out yeah like if your goals i feel like when people think about oh i want to achieve something or i have a goal they 
think big picture. They, I want to achieve something massive, which is it's awesome. Yeah, you're supposed exactly. to do that. But at the same time, it's like you want some short-term goals as well. You don't want to just focus on long-term goals because you're just going to kind of go through life feeling like, man, like when am I going to get there? And just kind of like doubting yourself even more. And it's going to be a little bit more hard where if you have like a goal, it's like, okay, like I woke up, make my bed. Sweet, I feel good about myself today. Exactly. S simple stuff like that. Or like, I brushed my teeth two times today. Or like, I floss. Exactly. It's like, good job, man. Like, keep doing that. Right, like, if you aim too high, then you're yep. going to get discouraged yep. easily. If you, you know, I feel like when it comes to real successful people, they obviously have that end-term goal in the back mm -hmm. of their head, but the ones they're focusing on are the, are the ones they can do right now. Like, what, like, like you were saying, brush your teeth in the morning, making your bed, like, these little things, they will add up. Like, yep. people really, like, that's what trusting the process is, is, like, just keep on doing it over mm -hmm. and over. Keep shooting over and over baskets. Yeah. And if you keep doing that, something will eventually come. If yeah. you only focus on what you have to lose and the things that might not happen, they won't happen. Mm -hmm. But if you focus on that 1% chance, you're already ahead of everyone else. Yep. And you, you have to stay hungry for it. Like, what, you have to find out what, what's driving you. Is it external or is it internal? You can have a lot of external things that drive you, that's fine. But it gets to a point where it's like, you have to find something within yourself to be like, okay, what is going to drive me? It can be, you know, I have a family I have to take care of. They're counting on me. I have to do this. Or just simply like for me, it's just kind of like I have a goal. No one's like, I have people that can help me get there, but I'm the only one that's going to be able to get myself there right. in reality. So that's what drives me internally is like, I'm relying on myself to take care of me with the goals that I want to achieve. And like in the gym, like right now, like since I'm starting to kind of get back into like, just like, I'm just doing basics and everything. But like for like the, my older skills that are more difficult, I'm back to doing like the drills. And it's like, okay, I want to do five sets of like these drills. I may only do four, but I to think back on that. Okay, I'm not as healthy as I used to be. So four is good. Right. Next week, let's try to hit five. So like, that's a short term goal for me. My long term goal is getting that skill back. Right. And like, there's a quote in like the gymnastics world. And it's like, fall down seven times, get up eight. No matter that's that, like some like, real stuff that's right some there. real stuff it's like i was thinking i was like man yeah that's so true like gymnastics are going to fall it's inevitable right for the most part but if i can pick myself up not only physically but mentally as well and continue doing my routine or or like take a break and like try it again i'm i'm going to make it exactly and another thing why that really hit is i saw these videos you might have seen them too like these dudes that have no legs but they're sitting there yes, doing pull-ups yep. in like a wheelchair mm -hmm. dude that's like and it just says over like no excuses like yep. literally no excuses like yep. there is no reason just to sit there on the couch do nothing all mm -hmm. day not work hard not be hungry not you know work out not better yourself like for me right every day i preach on this channel all the time constantly better yourself constantly yep. do what brings yep. you joy constantly you know stay hungry like mm -hmm. you were saying and like there's just not enough hunger in the world. There no, really isn't. No. People, like, especially with, like, your phone, you can sit on your phone all day. Yep. Put it to a charge, you can sit on it all day, and you constantly got, like, the best of the best, and it makes mm -hmm. you aim way too high, and then you're like, oh, I'm not even going to try. Yeah. And they don't even realize that, like, these people are every single day they're mm -hmm. working to get there, and, you know, even if somebody, like, used, like, steroids or whatever – how long it took them to get that even with it and how much work they actually had to put in is crazy. Like you see somebody with a good physique, right? That automatically says so much about them. Like discipline, you know, trust in the process, like, you know, patience. Yeah. And it shows so much about their character just by having that mm -hmm. physique. Like we, yeah. we know, like if we see a big dude, we're like, wow, like that yeah. says a lot about mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Like there's one of my teammates, um, he asked me to kind of like condition him like during practice to get him strong or whatever. And like when I first started doing it, he was like a week in. He was like, man, I'm not getting bigger or stronger. I'm like, bro, it's not going to happen in no. a week. Like these, like these, you see it like actually on TV, like workout regimens. It's like, oh, go from fat to skinny in 30 days or less. And it's like, no, that's, that's not, not, that's how not works. how it works. That's, that's going to, that's just fooling you. Like I saw this thing on Instagram and, uh, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was like, if it takes you a year to go from skinny to fat, why do you think it's going to take 30 days for you to go to fat to skinny? That's not how it works. Exactly. I mean, you're going to see results quicker in like the first month. And then as you, the more fit you are, the harder it is to like kind of like get not fit. Get, yeah. Get not fit. And then also like, you know, 
I, I've heard that like people are like, yeah, I'm, I'm really fit, but I'm trying to get a little bit bigger, but it seems like I have to work a little bit hard for it. Like, yeah, because you're already in shape. When you're already in shape, that's when you have to like trust the process and just grind even harder. If you're doing 10, 10 reps in three sets, either do 15 reps in three sets or do 10 reps in five sets. You just got to put that little extra oomph on it. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like, if you keep doing the same workout over mm -hmm. and over, your body's going to get used to it. It's like, yeah, okay, yep. he's going to go to the chin-up bar, do some chin-ups, and then mm -hmm. right after, he's going to go do some dips. Yep. Like, you have to switch it up and do something even harder. Yeah, like, maybe, you know, muscles. like, even, like, you know, with, like, calisthenic skills. Like, if you're doing a bunch of dips, right, let's say, you know, try doing, like, a tough planch and try holding that. Or mm -hmm. try doing yep. a pull one if you're strong enough to do that. Or, you know, handstand push-ups, even, yep. like, handstand wall push-ups, yep. you know, stuff like that. Like, there's always the next harder thing to move up to, mm -hmm. you know. Even if you're at the most advanced level, there's still something even harder. Like, you, dude, I see these dudes that hold the, like, one-arm planch yeah. on the ground. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, literally. Like... I just don't understand how some people can just sit there and do nothing. Like, yeah. that's one thing I've never just, like, I guess I, it's just I mean, not in my character. Yeah, yeah I never understood that either. Like, my, my days off, I work out when I don't go to practice. Like, except for, like, Sundays, I just kind of, like, that's my rest day. But even on Sundays, I, like, kind of feel, like, weird just, like, kind of, like, sitting around. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, 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 like, man, I just feel lazy. Like, I'm, I'm still, like, eating healthy. It's not like I'm, like, kind of, like, binge eating, like, chips or something. But I just, just like, that just kind of, like, I have to be active. I have to do something. So I'm, like, I'm just going to go for a walk. You know, just just to kind of like keep the blood moving, and I just I just hate like sitting just sitting on the couch for too long. That's what I'm saying. Like I hate just like not doing anything because then I feel like I'm losing. Yeah. And that's really where the winner mentality comes from. Obviously, you know, be smart about your training. Like don't yeah, overtrain. Don't, yeah, you don't want to hurt yourself. But we're saying like like know your limits, but try to safely go past them. Exactly. You know? Like you want to get to that point where it's like you're almost like getting injured every time but yeah. like you're just staying at that yeah. fine line of like safety but pushing yourself yeah and it's like you'll it's hard to explain the difference between like oh i'm getting like a good pump kind of pain and like i'm actually like hurting myself kind of pain but like you'll know what yeah you, feel you know like people you, you guys know your body so you'll know the difference you know like there have been there have been times when i when i first started like weightlifting at uh gymnastics when i kind of like, got first introduced i was doing it and like i was doing i don't remember what i was doing but I know I was doing the technique wrong at the time. And I was kind of like, oh, like that didn't feel good. Right. Like that hurt. And then I went on um, YouTube and watched a bunch of like videos of like people that do it for like, right. sports and things like that. I'm like, oh, okay. I see what I was doing wrong. And then a few weeks went by and I tried it again. I was like, oh, okay, now that's a, that's a different burn. That's, right. that's a good burn right there. Not like I just hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Like, I mean... A lot of people, too, is they'll never even get to that point of overtraining because they're training like a wussy constantly. Like, I saw, like, this one video where, like, this dude was talking about people that, like, wanting to, like, they were asking him about training lagging body parts. Like, you know, should I hit chest? Like, if my chest is lagging, should I hit it, you know, on the days off? You wouldn't need to hit it more if you hit it good the day. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't be able to work out the next day perfectly fine if you really did hit it right the first time. Yeah. That's why, like, people... I feel like they have like their heavy days and their lighter days. So those lighter days is because they went so hard on their heavy days that they, you know, if they try to go heavy again, they're just going to end up hurting themselves, which is fine. That you have to have your lighter right. days, you know. Like I, I've seen like videos of like huge guys just doing slow bicep curls with just twenty pounds. And at first, I was watching the video, I was kind of like, <laughs> I was like, why are you using twenty pounds, my guy? Like you're huge. And then I, and then like he kind of like spoke. He was like, yeah, I do lighter days just to. You know, stay safe. And I was kind of like, oh, that makes sense. So, and that's the process. Like, exactly. Like, also, like, I want to kind of like, circle back. Like, winners, the difference between winners and like, losers or whatever is that winners, when, when they lose, they learn from it and they ask people how to win. Like, they, because, like, for me, when I was younger, we had a competition that um, the college guys, the college gymnasts that host. Right. And so, like, the college guys, like, they'll come in because they'll compete after us. And I remember one time I finished, I was like one of like the first ones done with the entire uh, competition. So I was like, I'm just gonna kind of go I, like get some ice and just kind of like ice my ankle or whatever, it was hurting at the time. And Sam McCool, like he's, he's an Olympian. He's like, this is probably gonna be his third Olympics this summer. Oh, so wow. like, yeah, and he was from Michigan. And this was at the, so I was, this, I was really young at the time because he was still in college when I was like competing at that competition and he was in the recovery room like getting kind of massage from the trainer 
and I started asking him because it was it was a rough me. I mean, I had a good me, but it was more one of my rougher me's. And I asked him, I was like, "How do I do this differently?" Because I look at him and I have seen him do gymnastics. I'm like, "Yo, like he's a winner right there. Like he knows what he's doing." I want to like kind of get to that level. Right. And for me, in that moment, I was kind of like, I feel like I kind of lost, but I know he's been in the same shoes as me or somewhat similar, and mm -hmm. he got there. So how do I ask this winner? Or how do I get to know like the tips and the training regimen that I can do to improve myself? Right. Like ask ask someone that you know has won and something that you want to achieve so you can learn from them so you don't lose again. Exactly. And another thing that goes perfectly <laughs> along with that is if you have a goal, right? Like let's say hmm, let's say for me, right? Let's say I want to get to twenty thousand subscribers, right? Because I'm only at twelve hundred right now. So let's say I wanted to get to, I don't know, even five thousand, ten thousand, right? You have to think to yourself, what is what would that version of me be doing? Mm -hmm. What what would they be doing when they wake up? What would they be doing throughout the day? And most of the time people will come to the same thing, they're working harder. Yeah. And like if you're already not working hard enough and you want something, you don't want it that bad. Mm -hmm. If you don't want it more than, you know, you want to go to that party, you don't want it more than, you know, you, you want, want to sleep. sleep. Yep. Oh, we just said the same thing. Yeah. Like like literally <laughs> like, you know, you want to have success as bad as you want to breathe. That's another quote by E.T. something. Not not the alien E.T. But, <laughs> but I was thinking the, that. I was like, E.T.? There's, e there's another, maybe it's, I don't know. He has one of those names where it's just the, the two letters. I'm pretty sure it's E.T. I don't know why. I forget his last name, but right. he said that. You have to want success as much as you want to breathe. And that's, and that's literally true. true. Like. Yeah. You got to be hungry, like we were saying. And mm -hmm. another thing that kind of goes along with what you're just saying is that life can only be experienced forward, but it can yep. only be learned from backwards. backwards. I like that. Yep. Yep. You learn from your past for a brighter future. Yeah. And like, I mean. and I kind of want to circle back because, like, when you were talking about like working hard, mm -hmm. that is very true. Like, I'm, I'm going to kind of tune my own horn a little bit. I'm. I think I'm like one of the hardest worker, like hardest working person I, like, that I know of. Like in the gym, like you can even ask my teammates, and my coaches, I'm all, I've always been the first one in and the last one out. Like the past few days, I've been putting in like six hour practice days. Cause I'll get there an hour before practice, do my physical therapy stuff right. and then train. And then I'll stay after to do just more stretching, more drills or like more conditioning. Right. And everyone's gone. Even my even my coach like is like, right, I'm gonna leave for the night. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna stay for an extra thirty minutes. He's like, You're crazy, dude. And I was like and I told him I was like, I don't I don't care that like, you you may be more talented than me, you may be smarter, you may have, you know, your family might have like month more money than mine does or whatever. But one thing is that you will not outwork me. Because I have a goal and nothing's gonna stop me from keeping that. And like with gymnastics, it's like I wanna do college gymnastics. Now the difference is, is a thousand other people want the same thing that I want. So how am I gonna beat all of those guys out? Simple answer is I have to outwork them. Yeah, like so. it's like this other quote, it's actually <laughs> from an anime. Um, and like, it's interesting. It's um, in order to be extraordinary, I have to become extraordinary. Ooh, I like that. Dude, I wanna get that tattooed on myself. Bro. Yeah, literally, <laughs> like in order to be extraordinary, because one of the characters was basically, there was this like best swordsman in the world. It's the mm -hmm. anime's one piece, if any of y'all know it. But basically there was the best swordsman in the world, right? And then there was the guy that wanted to be the best swordsman. So, you know, he said in order to be extraordinary, I have to become extraordinary. Did yeah. some crazy like training regimen, you know, That's stuff awesome. like that. I like that, yeah. And it's basically like, you know, like you were saying, you cannot outwork me. Like you have to work so hard because hard work will always beat talent. Somebody can be born and yeah. be like faster than you, stronger than you, smarter than you, mm -hmm. you know, richer than you, like you were saying. But if you outwork them, you're always going to win every yeah. single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talent comes naturally, but skill is only developed with hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. And talent can only get you so far. Like if you don't, if you don't have skill built upon that talent you're not going to get anywhere but as soon as you learn to like okay this is how much talent that i have but you add the hard work ethic to it the universe is going to get out your way like i never really viewed myself as like particularly like talented i mean yeah i'm pretty talented in gymnastics but i've had teammates that like they'll be training a new skill brand new never even did a drill for in their entire life and they get it within like four days 
and now I'm trending the same thing and I still haven't yet to get it and I've been working on it for like two months. And like, I'm proud of them and like, good for you. Like, I wish I could do that. But at the same time, I'm like, damn man, like, why can't I do that? Why can't I get that? But then as soon, but I realized that like, as soon as I'm able to get that skill, I appreciate it a lot more because I worked hard for it. Exactly. And the next thing I knew is like, since I worked so hard on getting it and trying to do the technique right, mine looked 10 times better. For, compared to the kid that was insanely talented and was able to just do it. That kid unfortunately quit like two years later. And I was like, I'm still here, man. The big difference is yeah. in the people that actually are willing to work for it and the people that just get it. Like, and that, like, that, like, applies to so many things. Like, that if you're born, life, too. if you're born, like, rich, right? Perfect. You're not going to yeah. really understand, you know, what, what it was like to be at the bottom, what mm -hmm. it was like to have to work things. If you're born, you know, poor and you had to work for everything you know it like life will be completely different to yeah. you like there was like this video of, like these like women they had never been to a walmart really yeah wow. and like they were looking around they're like what is this you know stuff like that and i'm just thinking to myself what yeah like what like how like you like you've been so like i guess conditioned your entire life like you know having all this money having all these things and you've never been to a walmart that's crazy like it just goes to show the difference between like you know people that were born into all this money and have all these things and the people that had to actually work for yeah. it and had to actually you know like put in the time because mm -hmm. you know what you put the time in that nobody saw accounts yes. for all the things you did that yep. they did see yep like like a gymnast hitting a plant right mm -hmm. how long it took them yeah. to hit that just for you to say like wow for five seconds yeah like even at home like i i do stuff at home that like i'm putting in hard work when like you said when people are not watching like I, i'll go home at even after a long practice day and i'll just go home and if i'm like hmm i could do a few more crunches i'll do that or i'll be like hey i'm just going to do my splits for about a half hour and just stretch like even though it's like little things those little things are going to make a big difference in the future and it's it makes me like really confident in myself it's because like i'm putting in hard work when nobody's watching i'm literally like home alone right now and i'm just doing my splits and i'm stretching and like just doing extra stuff that i guarantee almost no one else is doing right and that's what's going to set me apart from everybody else exactly if you don't want to be like them do something that they're not yeah. doing and like you know it really is crazy to like go out like at like a public park and see some dude hit like a handstand or a yeah. planche and mm -hmm. stuff like that and you like think to yourself like wow how much time that actually took like people don't realize especially with gymnasts i feel like gymnastics is so underrated it, like yeah, the, how it's... like hard it actually is like anybody mm -hmm. can throw a basketball anyone can you know throw a football right and i'm not discrediting you know the talent of yeah, like, no, the no, high level yeah, ones yeah, yeah. but i'm saying what this is like you had to have been doing it for so many mm -hmm. years, so much time, like yeah. for me, right? Like y'all saw on the channel, I did muscle ups, like, right? And that was so hard. Yeah. Like literally even just to do one, I can do three in a row now, mm -hmm. like when I'm completely fresh, yeah. but you have to be like completely yep. fresh. You need all your strength yeah. to do those kind of skills. Yep. It's funny because like when you watch gymnastics, you're like, oh, that looks so easy. They make it look so easy. It's like, okay, yeah, they make it look easy, but they spent years, years and years training just that one skill. And that's just how it is. And it's like, I never like kind of like, when I watch an essay on TV, when it, whenever it's aired, right. I, I never like, oh, that looks easy. I'm just kind of like, I know what I have to work on. That, that's the way I look at that shit because like I'm a gymnast. So it's just right. kind of, it's just different for me. And I, it's funny because I'll be like watching and like, I'm like kind of like, like moving as it like swing around the bar and they like do release skills when you, a release skill for those that don't know, I just want to explain real quick. You let go of the bar, do a flip or a twist over it and then you catch back on. And like, I'll be watching, I'm like sitting there like, kind of, you know how like dads and like other people when watching the football game, they're like, they're like, yeah, they really get into it. Yeah. I'm sitting there watching gymnastics. I'm kind of like, oh, oh, catch the ball, catch the ball. Yeah, I'm sitting there and, was, and my mom's looking at me, you okay? And I was like, he, he bent his legs. That's that's too tense right there. <laughs> so I get really into it. But it's like, that's how I watch like gymnastics. But yeah, we make it look easy, but it's, it's not. <laughs> Literally, it's not. Like another thing that I could actually apply to that is like, you know, I've been doing the dips for a while now. Like I spent so much time, like, you know, just holding myself mm -hmm. there doing dips. So I've gotten pretty good at the dips now. Right. And I'll be doing them out in like public at like the, you know, the park down there. 
and people will see me and they're like, wow, I think I can do that. Someone tried doing it and yeah. they were literally yeah. like shaking. Mm-hmm. They couldn't do it at all. Yep. They were like, what? You made it look so easy. Mm-hmm. Like I literally made it look as if it was nothing, right? Yeah. And yeah. then they were like, wow, like how would you do that? And they were like so impressed and like, like I spent so much time just mm-hmm. perfecting it over yeah. and over and over for it to look that way. So it looks easy, but it's literally so hard to even mm-hmm. just do one dip if you really think about it or yeah. one push up or one, you know, any of those skills. Yeah. So... Yeah, so that's what the process is, really, in long version, I guess. Yeah. But also, like, when those hard days, the hardest days, like, the days that you wake up and you don't want to get out of bed, or the days you're just like, man, I don't want to go to the gym, or I don't want to go to work, those days are the ones that count the most. Those are the days that, again, set apart the successful people and the non-successful people. Because the ones that are not successful, they're going to hit snooze. They're like, oh, I don't want to get up at six. I'll just hit snooze, go back to bed. The ones that want to be successful, as soon as that alarm gets up or goes off, let's get at it. Let's attack the day. And it's like, I don't want to. I kind of want to hit that snooze button, but I know I have this goal. If I go to sleep now, who's to say I'm not going to wake up until like 10? Exactly. I have to get up now and start working on my craft. And that's kind of how I felt this morning because, you know, I knew I had to wake up early for this because it's like 9 a.m. right now. And um, I set an alarm for 7 so, you know, I could do like my daily things I do when I wake up and stuff. And when that alarm went off, I already knew. I was like, all right, I got to get up right now. Like, like, I got something I want to do, you know, and make this video, you know, work hard. You know, this is me working hard right now, making this video, you know, posting more videos, like working out, all this other stuff. It all like kind of circles around. So even if like you're on your rest day, Try to do something that will still keep you moving forward. Yeah. Even just that rest day is making you move forward. Mm-hmm. If you really think about it, because you're recovering, you know, then you'll be stronger when yeah. you come back from recovering. Mm-hmm. Even if it's just like planning what you're going to do, like the day after your rest day, like even just doing that can set you up for more success than other people. Because then if you have a plan set for the next day and somebody else doesn't, you already have like a jump head start for uh, on them. Because right. they're, they're going to, let's say that you're going to go to the gym, right? And you don't have a plan. You're going to go in and be, okay, so what do I want to do today? And kind of spend a few minutes just standing there thinking what you want to do. Whereas the guy or girl that has a plan beforehand, they go in and they start attacking it. And that's all. That, not even, that can apply to not even just like working out. That can apply to life as well. It's like, all right, I want to, I have to get this done for my job or like for school or whatever. Instead of just waiting to do it the next day, be like, all right, this is my plan. This is how much I want to get done. Let's do it. And you're always setting yourself up to be successful. And actually, I found something really interesting about what he just said is that, um, you know, obviously we all know Albert Einstein. Apparently, yeah. he had the same outfit, like 20 of it in his closet. So he didn't have to spend the brain power to think about it. Wow. Like, and he wore like the same outfit every day, but it, obviously they were clean clothes because they were just yeah, the yeah. same outfit. Mm-hmm. And he would just wear the same thing every day. So we wouldn't have to expend the extra brain power to wear an outfit. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I kind of like, I, I admire that. That's cool. I mean, I'm not going to do that. Cause yeah, me neither. Kind of but like, still like, yeah, I mean, I guess that proves my point even more. And like, he was one, he was one of the best geniuses of all time. Yeah, of all time. So it's, yeah. But, yeah, so, like I, like I said, just kind of top things off. Even when those hard days come, instead of just letting it beat you down. Hitting that snooze button. Hitting that snooze button, get up and attack it. And again, when life knocks you down, try to land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. And trust the process. You'll get there. Exactly. And like... Another thing is, like, even when you are, like, getting there, you know, trusting the process, when you're, like, moving up the ranks, the levels, you have to also understand, like, a lot of people will get in that mindset, like, like we were saying earlier, like, they'll aim too high and expect where they should be, Mm -hmm. like, especially people our age, a lot of people our age are thinking to themselves right now, oh, I should be here, here, and here, and I should have already been doing this. They want instant gratification. And they don't even realize, like, smell the roses, you know, like, like, look around you. Yeah, like... It's, yeah, like, we, you and I, like, we work really hard, and we, you know, try to achieve our goals, and we really, like, push ourselves to get where we want to be, but at the same time, I feel like you and I also are just kind of, like, like you said, we take a break and just kind of appreciate, like, the little things, because you, like, if you're so focused on a goal, that's great, but you also don't want to miss, like, all the little things in life that are beautiful and wonderful as well, so it's, like, yes, work hard and push yourself, but also every now and then, it's okay to just kind of, like, slow down a little bit still work on your goal right but don't you don't have to like not necessarily work as hard on it but just kind of like 
You're like, okay, I'm just gonna work a little bit. And I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna go outside with my family, go out to dinner, have a nice time. Exactly. And then when you get back home, all right, back, back, back at it. You know, just kind of something like that. Yeah, like everything in moderation, because too much of any good thing can mm. be bad. You yeah, know? and you don't want to get burnt out. Oh yeah, like, exactly. I, I've actually noticed this about me. Like, I get like so like motivated to like do something that like my coach would tell me, all right, just do five turns, and I'll like take, I'll do fifteen turns, and it's like okay, yeah, like I'm working hard, but at the same time, it's like. I just get too tired. So where I, the skill that I'm doing just looks crappier and crappier every turn. So it's like, yeah, I'm putting in the hard work, but it comes to the time where it's like, okay, I put it in, I'm tired. Let's go to let's go do something else for a little bit and come back. Wow, after like a, like a little reset, you gotta like right. reset yourself so you don't get burnt out and tired. Yeah, it's literally the same thing I just did actually recently where I stopped posting on YouTube for a minute. Like mm -hmm. I didn't post for like. I don't know, there were like four or five day gaps, like there was a five day gap, I didn't post, four day gap, and you know, now I'm actually like motivated again when you had hit me up and you're like, hey, you know, I have this idea for, you know, this video, yeah. and I was sitting there, I was like, all right, it's my chance to get back on the grind mm -hmm. and keep like posting, because I was posting like multiple videos a mm -hmm. day at one point, it was crazy, like people, you know, in the comments were like, wow, you're posting every day, you're basically a full-fledged YouTuber yeah. now, <laughs> like, yeah, like, I'm really out here, but there are some times, like I was saying, everything in moderation, that applies to literally everything like if you do too much of any good thing it can go bad yeah and another thing that like applies to like the smell and the roses thing i was telling you so basically there was this one dude that um i was just talking to his name is jared and basically he was saying you know i feel like i should be like i feel like i should have done more by now because i think he's 20 now and he was like i feel like i should have done more by now and all this other stuff and i was like dude like really look at now. this yeah that and look at this whole garden you've been planting like, mm -hmm. take a minute to smell the roses. Like, you only look in front of you. Look all around you. Like, there's flowers everywhere. There's yeah. trees. Like, all this other stuff. Like, this whole garden you've been planting for so long. Like, you take it for granted. Like, yeah. you have to look mm -hmm. around and actually appreciate what you've built so far. Yeah. And then you can keep moving forward. And he was like, wow, you should be a motivational speaker. <laughs> I was like, yeah. hey, thank you. Yeah, that actually is one of my goals. Yeah, that that was that's a really good analogy. I like that. Like, you spent so much time planting all these plants and flowers. So, like why not appreciate it a little bit you know and it's like people want instant like nowadays our generation instant gratification. instant gratification they want they want to look good in 30 days you know they want their goals to just come to them that's not how it works you have to take the time it sucks and a lot of people don't realize it but you have to just life is kind of like a game you have to kind of play along with it and hey, keep shooting those shots yeah keep shooting the shots and like you'll get there someday but you gotta be patient and like gymnastics if that gymnastics has taught me anything is to be patient i have a lot of patience because like i said i there were skills that you know i may have gotten within a week but there are a lot of skills that it took me two years to get and so there's gotta be patient with yourself and appreciate what you have and just keep moving forward though still exactly like smell those roses and understand that like there's always something to be improved upon like sure you might go on instagram and see that guy with that crazy physique you know that guy that you know been working out 10 plus years probably on roids all this other stuff and you know you may think to yourself oh i don't look like him so i'm not successful you are not him you're you yeah and you got to look at your own chapter because their chapter 25 might be you know the same as your chapter one yeah, like exactly. Like today for you, it's chapter one, but for today, for them, it's chapter 25. You yeah. know, like it's different books. Don't look at their book and judge your own. Look mm -hmm. at your own book and judge your own. Compare yourself to yourself. Yeah. If you're comparing yourself to other people or other like goals that they achieved at your age or whatever, you're going to get discouraged. You have to look yeah. at your own self. Like if mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, compare, like, let's say I'm trying to get my physique better, right? I'm going to look at my physique from a year ago or mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, look at the measurement from a year ago and take a new measurement and maybe yeah. I'll be bigger, maybe I won't, but I'll compare myself to myself. Yeah. Yep. I was, about, I was actually about to like start getting dive into that. So, but you covered everything that yeah, I was about to say. So like, good job on that. So yeah, it's not about, oh, I want to be better than that person or like stronger than that person. You want to be a better and stronger version of yourself. Like my goal right now is like in the next few months, I want to be healthier and stronger than I am right now. So you got, that's what people have to focus on. When you go to the gym and like you said, like you see that big guy, don't worry about what he's doing. Focus on you and making a stronger version of you. And also, if you're that big guy in the gym, don't demeanor the, the other guys exactly. or the other girls or whatever. It's like, 
like you said, you like if you're the big guy on chapter 25, don't be demeaning the chapter one person because then they're just not gonna they're just gonna get more discouraged. And it's like just just everyone should just like focus on themselves and what they're doing. And that's the thing for like those dudes that are on chapter 25. They were at chapter one at one yeah. point. They were there at the beginning. Everyone has to start from somewhere. Yeah. Everyone has to start from zero to mm -hmm. get to a hundred. Yeah. Like so, get, give chapter 20, chapter twenty fives. Get chapter one's tips. Like whether they ask if ask for it or not, just be polite. Like hey, like just try to use, do the technique this way and see if that helps. You know, like help them instead of just be like, oh, you're weak. You're not going to get there. It's like screw you, man. Yeah, and like those people that did work hard that do that, like. I, I can't understand that. Like, how could you work so hard for something and, you know, have all this discipline and patience and everything and then, like, belittle other people yeah, that, that do that? Those yeah. kind of people. No, nah, we don't like yeah, those on this no, channel, man. No, no we, we like respectful people that work hard. For bring each other what up. They have and, yeah, yeah, bring each other up, help one another. We, we need more of that in this world. Literally. And, like, the thing is, like, with life, like, this is going to be kind of deep, but... If, like, if we're only here for a limited time, why not show other people what they can do? Like, yes. why not show them what mm -hmm. they can do with this gift? Like, why not be that? Because who else is going to do it? Exactly. Like, who else is going to be the person that's going to go show everyone, hey, you can do this, you can do that, you know, you can, like, you know, literally do anything. That's what people don't get. Like, people will put, like, this limiter on themselves. They're like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, like, top out. They're like, oh, I can only do this and that and this other thing. You can literally do anything. Like, obviously, you know. Like, if something's illegal, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah. just, like, on a serious note, you can literally do anything. Like, sure, I can't fly, but I can build yeah. something that it makes, makes me, me go through the sky. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was about to say that. I was like, the only thing you can't, like, I remember when I was younger, I, I tried to use that Mary Poppins thing. So I jumped off, like, the top of my mom's, oh. like, when she had a Jeep at the time, so I jumped off of it, and I had, like, the umbrella right. open to see if I would float down. Guess what? It didn't work. But... All right, so what? That's a movie. I can find another way to fly if I wanted to. So exactly. you got to find ways around problems. Yeah, literally. Like, like, literally, the only barrier there is is the one you put there. Yep. And if, like, once you realize that, any time, you, like, you got to catch yourself doing it. Like, if you're, like, let's say, you know, you're not, you do hit that snooze button, be like, wait, I just hit the snooze button. What am I doing? And then snap out of it and then go do something, you know? And, like, if you've never really worked hard before, then, you know, maybe, like, work a little hard. Like like he was mm -hmm. saying in actually the last video, like, if you keep eating McDonald's over and over, right, eat it one once less or, like, you yeah. know, if you're eating it every day, eat it for six days a week and then, you know, five, four, three, mm -hmm. two, one, like, yeah. you know, make those little improvements and then you will get the big improvement. Like we yeah. like been saying, like, the little things really do matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I had... A family member, like, uh, she loves to drink Coca-Cola, and her one of her goals was to, like, kind of limit the amount that she in, of Coca-Cola that she intakes, and I remember the first time she tried it, she just, like, cold turkey, it, like, no pop whatsoever, and she's like, man, I'm having headaches, and like, I, don't, I don't feel good, it's like, just, instead of having pop every single day, try, like you said, six days a week, or, or at least, like, instead of having it for um lunch and dinner try just having it just for dinner or something like that just it's like it's like progressive overload but like in a different way right it's, it's like progressive underload but yeah it's going to be healthy for you yeah something like that yeah but um yeah like i was thinking about it we've been going 48 minutes this might as well be a podcast bro yeah, episode know, one right? dude yeah. like literally one day like you know that would be pretty cool having a podcast. That would be cool. Getting, like, a bunch of, like, motivational people yeah. on here like us, you know? That'd be cool to get, like, imagine if we had, like, four people here that were all, like, the same mindset mm -hmm. and everything. We just keep going back and forth on, like, you know, motivation, trusting the process, yeah. you know, the grind. That would literally be so cool. So, like, you know, if y'all want a podcast, let me know. <laughs> let me know. We'll get, it, we'll get it going. And basically, like, yeah, this whole thing has just been really about trusting the process. Yeah. Like... And what that means is basically, you know, keep moving forward no matter what. Yep, exactly. And once you get that, you can pretty much do anything, literally. Yep. yep. And don't let any, even if it's family members, like like I've said earlier, I had a family member that said I couldn't do it, but I didn't let that stop me. Exactly. So don't let anything or anyone try to stop you from achieving your goal. Like, it may be hard, but you just got to know, like, you'll make it.
no matter how hard it is, no matter how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Tell yourself that every single day, no matter how hard it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I like that a lot. That's yeah. like that's a good tattoo right there. I'm gonna make yeah. it. Have it like I'm just gonna, have, so I'm just gonna have a. I'm just gonna cover my body motivational quotes at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, dude. Like low key, this will be like one of those videos, like that, because you know how we could look at like a three minute motivational video and then be like, whoa, like I'm ready, like I'm fired. Yeah. Like this could be that video for a lot of people yeah. if you think about yeah, it. I, I hope like this video kind of uh, helps people understand what the process it kind of looks like, not just in like working out but just like in life in general and yeah i hope everyone kind of leaves a little bit more motivation than they had yesterday yeah literally like for me like i was saying like i haven't been posting that much on youtube but now i'm good i'm about to go on a streak yeah. you know i'm about to post a bunch of videos after this one and like you know try to you know just keep working hard and like mm -hmm. you know this kind of like put me back on track you know sleep schedule is kind of dying out all this other stuff and then you know hanging out with you again and now it's like all right got to keep going you know yeah. keep moving forward so when you do like find yourself at those moments of like you know you're starting to go down make sure you catch yourself and you know mm -hmm. snap out of it basically yep. yep and surround yourself with people that will help you like people the people that surround themselves with um bad apples they're not gonna you're gonna be a bad apple yeah they're gonna be a bad apple this is how it is so like yeah. what you really are what you eat like everything yes. you're consuming yep. like if you're constantly on you know I don't know, Instagram, TikTok all day, and you're just sitting there, you know, doing whatever, like, you're never going to really, like, how do I put it? You're not pushing yourself doing yeah. that. You're not doing you're anything not, doing that. Yeah, you're not disciplined. You're you going to stay the same. Like, when I talk about, like, when I'm saying like, discipline is, like, I understand, like, it can be easy to kind of like, get lost in your phone. I mean, I'm not really on my phone that much, but you know, my day's off. I'm kind of like, I don't really know what to do. So I guess I just kind of scroll through Instagram. For a little bit but the thing is is like when i'm at practice i'm not on my phone at all it's in my cubby i don't like go to i mean if i'm icing my shoulder like i'll go on and just to kind of pass the 15 minute like time right. away but other than that like if i don't ice during practice like for that full like five hour practice or whatever i'm not on my phone and it it, it kind of like irritates me a little bit because some of my like teammates are a little bit younger than me like they're you know go on the phone and kind of sit there for a little bit and it's like Kind of not, I like not yell at them, but like kind of yell at them that hey, like get off your ass and get going. Come on, right. we have stuff to do, and it's like I have to like kind of like be a little bit more nice about it, right? Because right. like I, it's just it's not that I'm like being mean to them. It's just I I see so much potential in them that I don't want them to regret anything. I don't want them to miss that opportunity exactly. to get better. So it's like it's a, it's like a tough it's a tough love situation. Yeah, but, literally. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not being a dick or anything. I'm not saying, like, hey, you can't do this or whatever. I'm just kind of, hey, like, get off your butt. Get going. Like, you can, you got this. Like, don't, don't get lost in your phone. And they're kind of like, okay, yeah, we'll go back at it. And I was like, that oh, boys. So, right. Yeah. Like, literally, like, it's like so I, many people yeah. that, oh, my bad. No, it's fine. I was just going to say, it's like, that's the thing about me. It's like, I really like push myself when i have like teammates that i see potential in and i see them wasting it it is like irritates me because like, i want the best for them and i have to remind myself that they may not want my help but i'm gonna give it to them yeah like, anyway they, who they, cares yeah i'm gonna give it to them and if they don't if they tell me they don't want it i'm like all right that's fine but i, I tell them it's like one of them that also graduated uh this year him and I were just kind of talking. He said, remember that one time you were like kind of like coaching us when you were hurt the first time and like, you know, like, you were like conditioning us and you really kind of like got in my, got in, got in my business and kind of, you put me in my place. And I was like, yeah, just cause like when I look at you and I see, I see a potential to get stronger, get better at the sport. And at that time we were just sitting there wasting it. And he was like, he said, yeah, you're right. So I, I thank you for that. And I was like, yeah, no problem, man. So it's like, literally like they may hate you in the beginning. But yeah. they will, you know, they'll, under, they'll respect you in the end. Oh, yeah. Like, during, during the time when I was getting in, into his face, like, telling him to, like, push himself and, like, work harder, like, he didn't like me very much at, at that day. But, like, a few days later, he was like, you know, like, you kind of opened my eyes and put me in, in my place in a respectful way. Of course, right, you put right. that out there. And he was like, thank you. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, like I said, you have potential. I don't want you to regret anything. Yeah, literally, like, people underestimate, 
like even like it may sound extreme even like you know an hour of your day where you're not doing anything that will come back later mm -hmm. that hour yep. where you just sat there doing nothing like and obviously like i said you know take all this in moderation you know take breaks when you need yeah. to all that yeah but those people that you know they know they could have done something and they chose not to mm -hmm. and that's just like i could never be that i could never sit there and be like okay you know like I have these things I want to do, I have these goals and stuff, but I'm gonna just sit here and do nothing. Yeah. Like I, I yeah. just like it's not like in my system, you know. And mm -hmm. I know you feel the same way. Like mm -hmm. literally, like those people that and those people that constantly like complain, like oh I'm not at this like place because they're like oh you know like I haven't lost any weight and all this other stuff. You haven't done anything. What? Yeah. Where's all these hours you were on your the phone or you were playing video games mm -hmm. or you were you know. I don't know, doing something that wasn't going towards your goal. You weren't improving yourself. Yeah. You know, like you can't complain if you're not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. And there's like, there's especially our age, like, you know, 19, 20, there are so many people out there that just complain, complain, complain mm -hmm. all day, do nothing about it, sitting there, you know, smoking weed, all this other stuff. And they wonder why their lives are so bad. Yeah. They wonder why they're not where they want to be. And it's like, because you're, wasting your time or wasting your life with nonsense literally so yeah like trust in the process is more than just really a mindset it's your daily life yeah. it's what you consume mm -hmm. it's like literally everything you do like if you have a goal and you really want to achieve it you will at mm -hmm. the end of the day and like it'll show the people that truly want something and the people that don't the difference is whether or not they're out there doing it whether they're trusting the process you know and that shows in people you talk to just by talking to someone mm -hmm. you can pretty much tell if they're trusting the process like when we talk to each other we already know like y'all y'all yeah. may notice like how these videos they just flow they just keep yeah. going and going yeah. like, like we were sitting here like all nervous about what to say before we started and then we started and then as we started speaking it just kind of like comes out it's like, literally so like and there's so many like you know people out there that have like that hidden potential that don't you know do anything about it and that just i'm sitting there I'm like oh if i had that potential that they have mm -hmm. i would be doing this and this and yeah. that like you see these people that you know they're born very strong they're born fast and they don't do anything about it mm -hmm. i'm like dude what are you doing yeah. like you have all this potential and talent and you're just like throwing it away like yeah yeah i re i uh, relate to that as well but yeah, trust in the process. Yeah, I don't know what I'll title this video. Probably, probably just that, like just trusting the process. process, featuring you know Logan Teal because yeah. you know got to get that more <laughs> views. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, just like trust the process and um, maybe go ahead and comment down below if you you know if you have any goals right now that you want to achieve and then come back on this video whenever you need it. You know, mm -hmm. like one of those three minute motivational videos that get you fired up, like. Like, this could be that video yeah. for a lot of people. Yeah. So I mean, it may seem a little weird coming from a few 20 year, 19, 20-year-olds, but, hey, I mean, like, we have an idea what it's about. So, like I True. said, trust the process, and I hope this video finds people more motivated to go out and become their best selves and really break through that, that barrier. Yeah. It is what it is, it you is know. What it is. So, go ahead and like the video for Logan. Y'all really yeah. liked the video last time. Fifty-one likes on that. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of likes. Nice. Like a lot of people might sit there and be like, "Oh, that's not that many." For me, that's a lot of likes. Hey, like, hey, yeah, that's, that's a lot. To you, man. Yeah, keep work. Keep at it. Trust the process. Literally. <laughs> and then you know, so go ahead and comment if you have any goals. Come back on this video when you need it. Subscribe. We're at one thousand two hundred eighty-seven as of this morning. Nice. So I don't know what it was when we made that video. Okay. But that's a lot. Yeah. And um, yeah. So like I always say, stay, stay jacked. jacked. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Also, get the merch. <laughs>